Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the history of TerraGrant and also we are going to see one of the sample uh, to create using TerraGrant. Let's see the history of the TerraGrant with the HashiCorp. So TerraGrant is the one of the layer of Terraform. So it is the one of the wrapper layer of Terraform. Um, so it was first introduced on 2017 and it is uh, developed by HashiCorp to manage our complex the infrastructure and this is the key milestone and uh, TerraGrant having uh, for used for to avoid the code duplication and uh, it is also used to manage the remote state of effortlessly basically you are going to create a module and using the module you can reuse for the different different environment so that is the drive format so basically you are going to avoid the code duplication you are not going to create the code again and again and uh, it's going to streamline the environment and uh, also the configuration complex environment you can go for TerraGrant and TerraGrant has become has a evidential or it is the essential tool in the infrastructure so coming to the development as well as the integration part for the uh, complex and uh, easy to managing purpose we are going to use the TerraGrant let's see uh, the one of the model how to create a uh, ec2 server in aws using teragrant you can see here i have already created the code so you should need the formation of teragrant.hcl in this format you should need one file so in this file we are going to give the input whatever we require and this is our model so in this model, we have asked to create EC2 server in AWS. You can see here, I have given the region name as AP South Typhoon 1, which is Mumbai. And I'm going to create AWS instance. So which is having the AMI instance type and availability zone. Everything I have given as a variable and those variables you can see here so these are the variables i have given i did not mention any values need to be added here and here i also having the uh, public ip which is for the output file so once it is get created it will show the public ip for the particular ec2 server so this is the model which i have created you can see the structure first of all so i have the directory which is called introduction to teragram for cloud and inside that i have two directories so which is environment and another one is models so inside the environment i have a dev directory so you can see here inside the dev directory i have file which is known as for our teragrant so when coming to teragrant you should need this file teragrant.hcl and i have the another directory inside this uh, first directory which is called as module so inside the module i have one more directory which is ec2 so in ec2 i have total three files which i have already explained here so I am going to write this teragrant.hcl so like this so I am going to call this module first of all so like this I am going to call a terraform and uh, I have to mention the path for the particular teragrant source equal to um, so I am currently with EC2 so I have to go back and um, and again i have to go back so this is dot dot slash dot dot slash and then i need to go inside the uh, module so currently i am here and i will come up to uh, uh, this directory so that i have right now modules and then ec2 so that's what i have designed the 
path for this particular uh, uh, terra grant here so this is the source path and then i am going to give the inputs whatever i require so here i mentioned the ami instance type and the availability zone and you can create another directory for your uh, staging or pre production uat or uh, for your requirement so so that you are going to create only teragrant.hcl file same like this so that you can create for the same ec2 instance for your different different environments so let's see how it is going to work i am currently in this directory so i am going to this environments cd environments then i am going dev now i am going to initiate first of all so for that you have to install teragrant so i already installed teragrant i am going to initiate same as like terraform teragrant in it it will download from hashicorp so i did not mentioned the version so right now it is downloading the latest version which is available with hashicorp so which is 5.13.1 now i am going to give teragrant plan you can see here it is going to create on ec2 server i have init i have given plan from this dot hcl file only now i am going to create the ec2 server teragrant apply giving approval you can see here now it is creating the ec2 server so now i have created the script using for the dev environment i can see my public ip here so same like i am going to create for my production as well using the same script i am moving to prod here and i have my script teragrant.hcl now i am going to initiate here also teragrant init you can see here now it's downloaded the plugins which is available on latest with the prod so now i am going to create the ec2 server for prod so teragram plan it's going to add the one ec2 server teragram apply asking for approval yes you can see here now teragram is creating the another ec2 instance for my prod environment so like this you can create for your different different environment you are going to write only the teragram.hcl file for your environment now i am going to destroy also it's having the separate state file for your environment so that it won't mix up with your dev and prod now it is destroying my prod environment ec2 server once it get destroyed i am going to destroy for the dev also if you like this video give thumbs up subscribe my channel follow me for more videos thanks for watching